You're watching UNICEF television. A tragedy is slowly unfolding in Africa's Sahel region. Poor harvests and rising prices have put more than a million children at the risk of severe and acute malnutrition. Eight countries in West and Central Africa are facing serious food shortages. Niger will be amongst the hardest hit. The part of the population which suffers most and uh, who are likely to face the most serious consequences for the rest of their lives are the very young children. And they are innocent. Hundreds of thousands of lives could be lost if the international community doesn't act now. We have the technology and the knowledge to treat these children who suffer from severe acute malnutrition very effectively. If we identify them, if we get to them quickly enough, we can really cure them and prevent them from dying. UNICEF is working with partners on the ground to prevent a wide-scale emergency. So we need to undertake actions to bring that level of chronic undernutrition down. And that also can be done by relatively simple things. If mothers would breastfeed more frequently, if the hygiene situation would improve, if hand washing would improve, if effective diarrhea treatment would improve, if better provision of, let's say, a simple package of vitamins and minerals would be provided at low cost, you would already achieve a great reduction of this chronic undernutrition. The distribution of ready-to-use therapeutic food is already underway. But the region is vast and the clock is ticking. The alarm bells are ringing loudly, but is anyone listening? This is Priyanka Pruthi reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.